Hello, John Rhodes here and welcome back. A big hello to all my subscribers and for those of you that have just found the channel, why not subscribe now? In this video presentation, I'm going to be looking at the management of incisor teeth with wide apices. Obviously, it's very easy to extrude the obturating material. And in these cases, I tend to use a bioceramic like biodentine. I'll show you how I used a collagen matrix to butt the material up against and avoid extrusion, followed by backfilling with gutta perca and restoration with a composite. I hope you enjoy it. Here you can see the preoperative radiograph of the maxillary right central incisor that had a complicated crown fracture. A small volume CBCT was exposed to check for root fractures. You can see a large chronic periapical abscess. Looking down the microscope at high magnification, you can see right down the root canal to the apex of the tooth. The root canal length was estimated using a combination of measurements from the digital radiograph and an apex locator. Here you can see I'm pre-measuring my pluggers. A stop is placed on the plugger and the length confirmed. No preparation was required in this case. Instead, the root canal was disaffected thoroughly with 3% sodium hypochlorite and 17% EDTA. The solutions were agitated with an endo activator. After irrigation, the canals were dried using sterile, large paper points. Looking down the root canal under high magnification, you can actually see the apex. So cool. I'm now placing a collagen matrix. This is hemocollagen. I can cut a small piece off and then plug it down to the working length using my pre-measured plugger. The collagen matrix provides a barrier onto which I can pack the biodentine. Here you can see the apical plug of collagen. The bioceramic material biodentine has been mixed and I'm now placing small increments into the root canal and plugging it up against the matrix. Having packed a few increments of biodentine, I'm now happy with the result and I'm going to confirm that the apical cork is in place using a radiograph. This is that radiograph and I'm very happy with the apical seal. 
I'm now placing AH plus sealer in the root canal above the biodentine and I'm going to use Obtura gutta perca to backfill. Small squirts of thermoplasticized Obtura GP are introduced into the root canal and plugged. The Obtura backfill is complete just below the level of the CEJ. The access cavity was etched with phosphoric acid. Dual cure bonding agent was placed on the etched surfaces and then the access cavity sealed using a dual cure composite. The incisal tip was then rebuilt using a clear cellulose strip and light cured composite. Here you can see the preoptive radiograph of the traumatized tooth showing the periapical abscess. The final radiograph shows an excellent apical coronal seal with all the various materials biodentine, gutta perca, dual cure composite and light cured composite. Well I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because there are many more interesting cases in the pipeline and above all enjoy your endo.